So I got some explaining to do. I just bought something. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show you right now. It's not in too great a shape, but I'll, I'll let you know what we got going on here in a second. So we back at the house, man. And uh, let me just uh, give y'all a little bit more thorough, in-depth of what we got here. And I don't know. I don't know if I if I should have did this or not. Y'all know I buy a lot of junk, man. Y'all know I buy a lot of junk. I seen this come up and I couldn't pass up the deal. I had to do it. All right, so obviously, She's a bit of a basket case, but what we got here is a 2005 YFZ 450. So it's the carb model and let's, bro, let's get out the truck. Let's get out the truck. So now that it's down, I'll be honest, I haven't really looked through this thing thoroughly. Like, we showed up, I had to go to work real quick, so, uh, I just, oh, hang on, actually, let me tell you guys the full story. So I'm going to be honest, y'all weren't that interested in the KTM. So, you not being that interested in the KTM made me not be that interested in the KTM. Uh, so, I traded it. <laughs> and it wasn't even all the way done, so... I thought it was a pretty good trade. Um, he posted this for 1800 bucks. And I know like five years ago, this would have been like an $800 quad, but that's not the market we live in anymore. You know? So I figured I had probably about 1600 bucks wrapped up into the KTM. So in my mind, it was a fair trade. He still needed to finish it. Uh, and I needed to do stuff to this. And plus for one, it's a new machine on the channel that is gonna be completely different. So when we go to Haspen Acres, the Battlelands, whatever, uh, we can take this thing and uh, leave the DRZ uh, as a supermoto, or if we wanna change that over, you know, if you guys like that content better, then we'll do that. Um, but it seems like you guys really like the wheelies and stuff. So maybe we'll just leave the DRZ as supermoto and just take that factor out and then just run the YFZ for the trails. Not only just the trails, but the track too, because uh, I've actually always wanted to take this thing, or not this thing in general, or specifically, but a quad on a motocross track, like, it always looked crazy, and I've never really had the opportunity to do that, so here we go. But, um, yeah, so we got a couple things missing. The header is not on. I'm pretty sure he said it was in this box. Let me check. I, again, guys, I have not looked at this shit, but I have been. I just wanted to get out of there because I had to go to work. Oh, yeah, 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 we got a header. Hell yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna keep that wrap on there. I'm pretty sure that wrap makes them rust. But let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. Oh, a starter? This looks brand new. Hell yeah. The air filter, the cage, that's good. The stock foot pegs, that's good. Not that I'll use them, but there. Uh, what's it? I have no idea what that is, but we'll figure that out. Um, and this, maybe some type of gear for the starter, because he said something about the starter clutch was bad. Okay, so we got that, that radiator hose was missing, the air box, we got the side plastics, the seat, and the front plastics, and the plastics guys are in really good shape, so really hyped for that. He said the only thing that was actually missing was the key, so whatever we don't need that where we're going um let's check out some things so the chain or the chain is yeah the chain is missing 
obviously. Uh, the sprocket, the rear sprocket looks in pretty good shape. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, front sprocket, same thing. Um, doesn't look like the case has ever been smacked with the chain. That's good. Let's feel the clutch. Clutch feels good. Okay. What else we got? He did tell me that one of these bolts was missing. Yep, right here. Okay, so the A-arm bolt for the top is missing. But this is okay. I'm okay with this because uh, I want to get the stock A-arms off of here and widen the quad, actually. So, fine with that. I'll get new bolts. Um, I'm sure they're not that expensive. Or actually, just one bolt. I just need the long one that goes across here. So, I'll order that on Rocky Mountain or whatever. Get that here. Uh, the front tires, not too bad of shape. This one's really dry rotted, so that one has to come off. The back, he said, we're off of like a Yamaha Warrior or something, or a blaster, I don't know, but it makes sense because of how balloony they are. Um, let's see, I need to check the rear carrier. Let me, oh, it already has the uh, parking brake, brake block off. That's sweet. Hell yeah. From what I can feel right here, oh wait here, I'll just do this, pick it up one hand. Rear carrier feels tight from what I just did. Um, obviously I need to pick it up and try it again. Um, the rear shock may need rebuilt. The bottom bushing is pretty cracked and there's a little residue right there. Not sure if you guys can see that. The carb is obviously gonna need cleaned. I can see dirt in there. Not sure if you guys can see it, probably not, but there's dirt in there. Um, the rear brake is gone. I'm not sure if I told you that the rear brake pedal, but I already looked them up online. They're like eight bucks. I'll order one of those today. Um, oh, the front brakes. Oh, the front brakes are actually working. So that's good. Okay, cool. So I got the brakes working already. And I'm sure the rear brakes will be fine. Let's see if that's cooling it. Oh, obviously it wouldn't have cooling it because it has a hose missing on that side. But, oh, there's a plug missing too right there. I have to figure out what goes there and order that. And then everywhere else, there's just like some hardware missing. It looks like it has, what is this? A Raptor X. I wonder if this is like the whole steering stem is Raptor X or just the mounts are Raptor X. I'm not totally sure. I'm not too familiar with quads, but the steering stem is definitely aftermarket. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna put the seat on it and sit on it and uh, see if it looks straight because I'm not totally sure. Um, what else? We have the stock YFZ450 front suspension. That'll obviously have to go at some point, not straight away, because suspension for quads is really expensive. Um, this rear homemade grab bar, that's going for sure. <laughs> that's gotta go. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to say there besides that thing is getting moved and hopefully oh it looks like the subframe is bent i'm not sure if you guys can see that it's not just the grab bar i thought it was but you can tell this side looks higher than this side that's okay we'll get another subframe i'm sure they're not that crazy yeah we'll get another subframe um and then it has a stock exhaust on the back which is so weird that the stock exhaust has made it almost 20 years on this quad because this is a 2005 that's insane to me um and then the plastic's cracked right here we will either plastic weld this stitch it or just get a new set of rear plastics because the front plastics are in really good shape so yeah i mean that's what we got going on right now it looks like it has a, a new head on it let me go to the other side and see if you can tell but when I looked at it, that's one thing that stuck out to me immediately was the head was a different shade than the cylinder. So in my mind, I just kind of assumed that that meant this has had a new head put on it, um, which is really good news if the head isn't trashed by whoever built the motor, you know, if they didn't blow it up again, because this uh, these heads for these things are crazy expensive. I want to say like close to a thousand dollars brand new. So definitely don't want to have to go down that road um oh it looks like there's um an engine mount missing right here oh that might be what this piece is that is hell yeah it's a motor mount right there cool sweet so now we know 
Okay, and it has a starter on it, so I wonder if that other starter was just an extra. If you guys see anything that you see like missing that I'm not seeing, please let me know. Because again, I'm not super knowledgeable on quads. Oh wait, there's a key right here. What the hell? So I didn't have one. This looks brand new. I'm sure we could make it work. Okay, we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, so we need a battery. And uh, I think in the next video, I don't really have time right now. This is just kind of like a, a rundown of the junk that I buy. But uh, in the next video, for sure, um, we're going to try to get this thing running. Um, I'm not sure. The next video might be this video might be riding because it's getting close to the weekend. But then one of the next two videos is definitely going to be trying to get this thing to turn over. Uh, I mean, that's just the first step. Just throw some oil in it or we'll check and see if it has oil and then and then just put some power to it and try to turn it over because i i literally know nothing about this quad he said it wouldn't turn over or it was hard to turn over or something so it could be locked up um we could be dealing with you know a starter gear we could be dealing with you know a, a seize crank we could be dealing with anything so i'm not totally sure i am i am most definitely hyped for this thing i'm going to uh throw the plastics on there like just set them on there and just see what this thing looks like because i have not actually seen what it looks like in person with the plastics on all right never mind that's not really working out this stuff needs actually bolted down but i can see the vision man i can see the vision oh in the front I'm not sure if I even mentioned that, but the front grab bar is missing, or the front bumper. Um, they're not that expensive either. Like, I was really expecting this quad, like, the parts to be, like, insane. But it seems like the only expensive things that I'm going to have to, like, really come out of pocket for, if they're bad, is the head, because those are disgusting. And the A-arms, like, to get extended A-arms, it's going to be, like, 500 bucks. So, and I guess if I want to upgrade the suspension, that's probably going to be pretty hefty. But outside of that, man, like... Like the extended axle is like 75 bucks. I see it on eBay. I'm not sure if it's a good one or not. Again, I don't really know too much about quads. Um, I seen like B locks for the we, uh, the rear because I want to get like um, the eight inch race B locks, and those are like 230 bucks. And then like front tires, like I'll just leave whatever wheels these are. They don't actually look stock. I wonder what these wheels are. If anybody knows what these wheels are, leave them in the comments. Maybe they are stock. Maybe they're just stock with stickers yeah they might just be stuck I don't know, they don't really look stuck anyways yeah so i'll just need to get right now the goal is to just see if it'll turn over obviously the goal is to get it running first but um i and i need to price out the subframe i don't know how much subframe costs i'm gonna guess maybe 100 bucks actually let me just look it up right now i was just looking online they're like 200 250 bucks so uh not bad you know we'll get this thing going man we'll get this thing going check the swing arm bearings see if those are uh see if those are any good um hopefully they are um it doesn't have a chain on it i need to check and run through the gears let's just do that right now let's, let's check and run through the gears right now all right so what we got right here neutral first neutral again oh hang on second third fourth Oh uh, yeah. All right, so we can go through all the gear. So that's a really good sign. That's a great sign. Okay, cool. But yeah, man. So honestly, like, I'm freaking hyped on this thing. I know it's not the cleanest thing in the world, but uh, we're gonna get it clean. We're definitely gonna get it clean. So that way we can leave the DRZ stock and. Uh, freaking be ripping this thing oh it came with a spare set of tires too so let me show you guys these i mean they're not great i'm definitely not gonna use them maybe they'll be used as like track markers but he definitely gave them to me so like this one has a plug in it uh not even sure if you can see it because it's so uh, there's a plug in that one and then he uh there's another plug right here <laughs> and then also there's another plug right there and then there was a nail in it so Definitely not using these tires, but he gave them to me. He said, oh, yeah, I got a nice set of good used tires to go with it. I'm not sure. 
that was an accurate statement, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. It's it's Facebook Marketplace, guys. It's Facebook Marketplace. So, uh, yeah. Um, see, did I, I showed you guys this stuff already. Yeah, I did show you this air box. Yeah, yeah, I showed you all the side. Let's pull this stuff over here. Get a freaking thumbnail and let you guys get out of here. And I'm out.